Lipscomb takes game two of their final regular season series here at home against SEMO. We are joined now by the winning pitcher, Ike Butts Buxton. Congratulations on the win, Ike. Thank you very much. So you were able to get it done today. You pitched seven innings, had six strikeouts and no walks. How were you able to get that done against such a talented team? You know, I think it's just kind of, I got to give props to the team. You know, everyone's, obviously we haven't had the season that everyone has been desiring to have, but I think it's all coming together and everyone's been staying positive and having fun. And you mentioned your teammates, Robbie and Brian, both had several good defensive plays to help you out this afternoon. What have they brought to this team in new roles this weekend? You know, I think uh, both of them obviously were missing our typical second baseman, Haddon Adams, but you know, both those guys are just doing great up the middle and have been great in the lineup and are great teammates. So we're just, we're loving all that. That's awesome. Well, you were able to get it done with a low pitch count today. How crucial is that getting ready for tournament play to keep your pitch count low? I think, you know, keeping these games quick and trying to keep the defense on their heels and, um, you know, trying to get, have us at the plate more than the other team. That's kind of been crucial for us um, yes, as the sir, Bison. Yes, sir. <laughs> Atta boy. Hey, Mom. <laughs> well, I know your teammates are excited about this one. What's your mindset going into tomorrow trying to get that final game before the tournament? Uh, yeah, I'd say, you know, I think we played two great games these past two days and uh, same kind of thing, trying to, you know, get it done quick. Um, I think that's going to be crucial for the Bison rolling forward, get a series dub here. Well, congratulations. Thanks thank, for your time. Thank you very much. The Bisons get it done this afternoon against SEMO, a final score of three to nothing. Their runs came in the bottom of the first, the bottom of the third, and the bottom of the fourth. They got those three runs off of seven hits and zero errors. Meanwhile, Osimo did not score any runs off of three hits and no errors. And now we're joined by Coach Forehand. Coach, great job to bounce back and get this one done today. You had a number of different alignment changes this weekend. How have those players been able to step up to their challenges? Well, I mean, that's how we practice every year. You know, it's, you know we, I feel like we've got 40 starters, so when it's your turn to step up there, it's your turn to step up there, and you know we're doing a good job with that. But today was about the pitching, you know, uh, just while Ike was such a great start, and and Tanner and Tyler in the uh, in the eighth inning, and and Tyler gave us a little scare in the ninth, but you know turned it around and we were able to to come through. But what a great pitching performance by Ike to get us started off like that, and you know they, he needed that one, and and that's exactly what we need. Hopefully, Karen is in the next weekend. And you mentioned the pitching not only tonight, but last night you've had strong pitching performances. How important was getting the series against SEMO to help prepare you for that tournament? All these games are important. Every game you want to get to, to you want to get that that energy and that emotion going for the next game. But uh, you know, today was just you know we talked we talked just in the huddle a minute ago. Yesterday's game and today's game were clean on both sides. They pitched well. We pitched well. They walked zero last night. Got a big hit. We walked one. Didn't get a big hit. They won the game by one run. Today they walked uh, zero, and we had one walk going into the last inning. You know, and Tyler was able to get out of that. But clean games usually come down to this, and we play them in in two hours and 15 minutes. And that's what it's meant to be. And that's what college baseball should be. And, and I think those both those games were clean and just proving a point to our team when you play clean like that and you get that kind of pitching performance we can play our short game get one or two runs and then play good defense that's kind of what we want to do every time so it was a uh, picture perfect game today yes yeah, so that pitching was great but there were a few hits to get your bisons on the board and get the win you've had consistent hitting throughout the lineup so far in this series how crucial has that been to keep up the consistency and not wait until late in the game right you know maddox got this got the double in the first inning and then unfortunately we got the third um we got a ground ball to get him to third base i believe and then we fortunately got a, a wild pitch to score him so he created that run and then he got the uh got the run in with a sacrifice fly i believe in the third you know so we were he was manufacturing those runs and you know using our short game and trying to do some of the things that we normally do you know we failed we failed more times this year than I would expect us to because we work on those situations all the time but you know it's good to see when we get the guy on third base we can get him in but also you know the big inning the crooked number comes when you get a big hit right after that so proud of the guys today for executing the first part of the scheme and then hopefully those uh, extra bait there's extra hits after we execute are going to be there. 
and tomorrow is the final home game of the series, which means it's senior night. Not only do we get to honor these, this year's seniors, the 2021 seniors, but also the 2020 seniors. What's your message to Bison fans to come out here and to support those players? Well, I hope everybody will come out because this group of kids is, is, is special. And, you know, for me, I, I get emotional about it because they've been around for, you know, a lot longer than we expected some of them to be here. And, and um, I get emotional about it because, you know, you just you, we get attached and, and, and all that stuff. But, you know, luckily the – um, one of our seniors is going to be able to come back. Uh, Vaughn is actually still playing, and he, he, he transferred schools, and their team's going to the regional, so he won't be able to come back. But, um, you know, Spencer Marsh, our manager, will be able to be back. And, um, uh, you know, it's just going to be um, – and uh, I'm, I'm thinking I'm calling him Gus. I can't even think of his name. Uh, Jarrett, he'll be back as well. So uh, that'll be fun, and we'll be able to celebrate them tomorrow. And, and I'll just look forward to, uh, to a really cool time. And like I told him in the huddle, it's, it's, it's good that it's not the last time. I mean, you know, we, keep, we can keep on playing. We play well next weekend, and this is just not the last game. And you know it's final. You know, we can celebrate that tomorrow. You know, they can enjoy playing their last time here and hopefully win the series. Like I said, that's important too. Uh, but uh, sending them off is, is really special. Well, congratulations on the win today. Thank you for your time, and let's get the rubber match tomorrow. Thank you. The Bisons win this one three to nothing against SEMO. They will face off against SEMO once again tomorrow afternoon for senior night as they try to take the series. For all things Lipscomb Sports, check out LipscombSports.com.